up YouTube, you know. Fixing up that part today. Uh, everything on there was loose, man. All the bolts were loose. You know, just finished the front end. I took off the handlebars. Front wheel. Brake system. Replaced the bolts on the uh, disc brake. Um, we greased the axles. Greased up here. Right here. Tightened up inside of here. There's a nut that you have to tighten up. Uh, make the wheel spin better. Right. Fix some lights and stuff, wires, just, you know, getting their back to the fat pod. Especially because we crashed her. Hold on. Secure device. Ready? Drive forward. <laughs> bat pod I know you're like what the heck happened here but you know I figured it's time it's time to tear it down and tell exactly how you make this thing man uh, reason why I took off the wheels in the back I had the front wheel off earlier but I put it back on is because the first thing you want to do when you want to upgrade whether you've got a fat scooter, a scooza, like me, I've got a city coco, you gotta tear it down. You're gonna wanna get down to your controller. Now yours might not be as big as this one is, but it's gonna be probably very similar. You're gonna have a three speed switch, which is probably gonna have connectors this one's I've cut off I've done a lot <laughs> done a lot of mods to this thing so uh, you got you'll have a three-speed connector you'll have this looks like what is this brake signal cut cutouts it looks like also in here is your throttle You got your motor phase wires right here. Motor phase wires. You're gonna have your power connections. You know, those are always gonna be the thick ones. And sometimes you'll have a key switch, but you'll figure that out. That's what you, you gotta look and see what you got. It's pretty easy. If yours is still factory, you'll have connectors on it. Kind of like these alarm connectors right here that I've got covered up. But start off trying to identify everything like I just showed you, you know, I figured out this was the three speed I figured out this is the throttle and brake kill switches over here And this uh, jumble that I've got zip tied up taped off motor wires You know phase wires. There's somewhere in here. I got them going somewhere Phase wires right here You know, I don't use this controller anymore. I literally just use it for lights, but uh you want to start off with that. Now, the second thing is your controller. I mean, if you look at mine, the reason why mine doesn't say anything besides these two is because that's the working voltage and that's the cutoff voltage. You need, I'm going to say, at least a 30 amp to start. If your controller is not already 30 amps or you're not hitting 28, 30 miles per hour, then you need to upgrade this. I normally go with a Sabaton, but right now I've got something very special. I've got a Stormcore 100S single motor that I'm running right now. And the reason why this is still wired up, this is still wired up is because, like I said, I literally just use it for my lights. It has a built-in converter in this thing that whenever I flip the switch, it doesn't just like spark or anything. The lights can work. I run, run these off of it the yellow is actually not yellow it's a like a whitish blue light that comes on i run my dash off of it which is this thing i run this light off of it so <laughs> you know but 
yeah, you're going to need to start off with this. Identify this. Identify where everything is going so you can learn, uh, you know, when you replace it, what you're trying to try to match it as close as possible to this one. Now, once you start doing this a couple times, I would say four or five times, you change controllers out, you kind of get the hang of it. And uh, it doesn't matter at that point which one you buy. Like, for example, on my Venom. Before I had the Venom, I had the Sabaton on the bat pod. The Sabaton is living right here. And you can tell, you've got a main connector, power, motor cables, you know, they're all coming out over here. And, you know, I've got some extra wires hanging out over here, but as I said, once you start, I've had that on the back pod, and that thing was, it made it go 50. So, motor, everyone wants to know what kind of, it's a special motor. Well, it was one of the, they probably haven't made them, or they're going to start making them again, I'm not sure. But this is the last 60 slash 72 volt, 2000 watt motor. I got this back in 2015 or 2016 should be stamped somewhere on here there it is and on that side it says it's a 2000 watt motor but doesn't say 72 or 60 volts on it uh, I'll put a link up for this motor I changed out the the brakes for new ones from the factory ones new lines did that all myself new kickstand so right now I'm cleaning her up because she's dirty <laughs> and once I'm done I'm going to check all the wires I'll go through with you guys how I made this brake light I added this brake light on here I like this brake light because it has a light on the bottom it shines on the tire it looks cool at night but uh once I finish cleaning it up I'll show you guys exactly how to wire this thing up the only concern I had when I was making it the first time was the space there's not enough space in this battery box you're like this thing if I could just like cut this out the Sabaton would have probably fit better but at the same time this helped me keep the Sabaton high enough to where the battery could sit on this side and uh, it would nothing would hit and I would just have my like floor my floorboard just like kind of slightly up a little bit but I had all this space to put my feet and I learned that the most comfortable spot was actually right here in the front so <laughs> yeah 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 but that's pretty much it man I constantly take it apart I keep everything that's why you got like little you see that grease oil line right there I take it apart all the time and uh keep monitoring keep monitoring your wires keep everything make sure everything's good you know put some kind of protection on any exposed parts and stuff and uh that's pretty much it really you know still kept the uh ring terminals for the phase wires um but yeah i mean it's it's really not that hard the tire the tire just barely clears back here that was what i wanted though i wanted that drag bike look fatter in the back smaller in the front but um yeah Most of the wires exposed really all you got to do is connect power the throttle the motor and the motor sensors that's it uh, when you purchase the controller look for one with three wires coming out of it four you can use the key switch this light switch is literally just two positives coming off. You have a constant, you have one that's interrupted. So when you hit the switch, it turns it on. So pretty easy, can't go wrong. 
a screen is literally running off a negative and positive and one wire is the speed sensor this that's my brakes I hit that up the brake light lights up uh, here's the jumble of wires coming out and uh, so when you're wiring up this if you want the halos to work on these you wire the yellow into the constant positive and you wire the red onto your switch that way when you hit the switch on it lights up the halos I mean not the halos the uh, inside lights but since I just rewired it we're about to take it for a quick spin That goes planned. That did not go as planned. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Almost into someone's car. Whoa. I'm scared. I haven't done this in a while. Like, yo, man, hit me up. <laughs> 